The gangster has been hellbent on turning over a new leaf following his prison ordeal at the hands of Fergus Collins, Robert Beck. Over the past month, we've seen him reunite with his beloved Maxine Miniver, Nikki Sanderson, reject Sienna Blake, Anna Passy, and give Donna Marie Quinn, Lucy Joe Hudson, a job. His latest mission was to persuade Maxine to move in with him, but when she declined his offer, he realized, following some advice from Joel Dexter, Rory Douglas Speed, that he needed to give things time. Despite him seeking the light, however, the darkness wasn't far away, as someone watched him from afar. Sienna, meanwhile, had problems of her own to contend with, after new acquaintance Ethan Williams, Matthew James Bailey, threatened the lives of her children. Hoping Warren would be able to help, the former teacher sought his assistance, but Warren made it quite clear that his priority is Maxine right now, and therefore he declined to get involved. Things took another turn when Ethan broke into Sienna's flat and came to believe that she'd told Warren about him having killed Maya, Kentucky Descala. Ethan therefore decided to deal with Warren, leaving Sienna concerned for her former beau. Warren, meanwhile, headed out on a date with Maxine, but as he ignored calls from a panicked Sienna, he failed to notice a car speeding towards him. Moments later, he lay motionless on the floor. WHO is to blame for what transpired? Did Ethan follow through and take action against Warren? Or is it the mystery stalker that stole Warren's notes the one who sought revenge? What's more, will Warren be okay? That would be a yes, for now. Future scenes, however, will see the character's life on the line once more, after he collapses and has a seizure. Hollyoaks continues Thursday, January 20 at 7 p.m. on E4.